What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for another episode of How to Survive. In the last episode we have been hanging out with our dear Russian, or maybe not even Russian, he might just be like Eastern Bloc somewhere. Anyways, our dear dear friend from the East had taught us how to make a shotgun and that is what friends are for. If your friends haven't taught you how to make a shotgun, what kind of friends are those? Let's have a look around. Where are we going? We're following him. I know for a fact we are following Kovacs around. He's giving us the ropes right now, teaching us how to live, and he's also teaching us how not to get diarrhea, which that's that's probably a pretty good plan. I think most people kind of subscribe to the Louis C.K. plan, where it's like every 48 hours, so let's speak to Kovac. The third most important danger is fatigue. Exhaustion will kill you. It'll cause you to make mistakes. If you don't rest when your body needs it, you won't be able to function. Running when exhausted? Almost impossible. Of course, you can't sleep if you are not tired. I see it like this. When it comes to surviving, your body is the boss. Oh, one thing. As I said in my book, you cannot sleep just anywhere. By now, you should have figured out that it's too dangerous. To sleep safely, you need to find one of my secure shacks. Chances are, you will have to clean up before you rest. They are usually overrun by scum. There is a secure shack on the east of the island. Your task is this. Find it, clear it out, then take a nap. Of course, you will need ammunition. Alright, ammo for handmade guns. Essentially, it's just language. It's just a bunch of stuff where basically we made- we're being very, very generous calling our gun a shotgun. It's- it's a blunderbuss. I pretty much hold on. There's zombies right here. Let's go back over here. Let me get my gun out. I want to. I want to check. Like really, I do want to check this thing out. I'm so excited that I can't even speak. All right, let's do this thing. All right. Kind of seems like a waste to shoot one of them right there. How many rounds does this thing expend every time? I, oh, ten. Oh God. All right. So I probably want to limit my usages there. Get back, zombies! I don't know what's happening over here. Oh, a bone. We can make ourselves a cooler helmet, or at least an, <laughs> an ornamented helmet. If we can't make one that's cooler, it'll at least have, like, some ornamentation. Wait, can I get am- Ooh, ammo! Hey, there it is. I don't want the soldier's helmet. I do want the piece of fabric, though, and the flint. Flint is always useful if you're in a survival situation. Little bits of metamorphosed shirt. And down they go. Another piece of fabric. We clicked our flashlight on all automatically. It starts to do that after a while. Actually, it starts to do that at the beginning of the game. What am I saying? It does it on its own all the time. I don't even... Hey, that wasn't a hit. I dodged out of the way of that one because I'm a boss. Oh, okay. So this is one of the shacks he was talking about. I thought he was wanting us to sleep in these little outhouses or something. Down they go. Let's check the side door right here. A little bit of hardware. Never hurts to have some fasteners. Healing plant, that never hurts either. In fact, it does the opposite of hurt. God, these zombies are actually coming pretty stacked with things that are going to be useful to us in the future. Let me have a look at my inventory and make sure that things aren't completely out of whack right now. I'm going to combine that with the helmet. Equip it. Okay, and then I actually think I'm going to... The helmets don't st Oh, our hunger's bad. Wow, that goes down pretty quickly, actually. Let's go ahead and eat two of those, I guess. I don't know what happens when we go to sleep. That's another thing that I've been slightly concerned about. What can I equip this with? No, that's not what I wanted. Combine that with a fork or something, maybe? What happens if I combine it with that? Does it make it better? I don't think it does. Give me my axe back. We'll play around with stuff in a minute. Looks like we got another wooden stick because they stack. I am gonna... Yeah, look at that helmet. We got, like, we're getting our samurai on right now. Kenji is definitely looking the part. For this whole zombie samurai slaughter. We got the recipe for classic arrows with feathers, which is good because I shot that bird in the last episode. And now we can actually fasten his bits to our arrows to make them fly straighter. Down goes that individual. He's still a... I don't know why it says you have to do like a critical strike to get the helmet off. It looks like they drop the helmet no matter what. Anybody else around here? I am going to clear out like this entire zone. Because I don't like sleeping with scary things nearby. Rules. Chapter 9. Resting. If you wish to have a chance at defeating the zombies, you have to take care of your body's basic needs. 
The basis of all survival is drinking, eating, and sleeping. This chapter is about resting. To survive day after day, it's imperative to rest. You should not sleep by day and night, but when fatigue is felt. The more you are tired, the more your stamina decreases. You must sleep to replenish your vitality. But you cannot sleep anywhere. It's too dangerous. You must find a safe place where you can rest easy. There are many secure shacks you can sleep in safely. But they will need to be cleaned out before you can rest. What if the zombies get inside the gates? And secondly, that would be a terrible way to go, getting spooned to death by a zombie. I don't even wanna- I don't wanna be involved in that. I'd prefer not to be anything to death right now. Pretty happy with existing, even on this island, such as it is. And of course it's gonna call down all kinds of hell for, on us from outside. Anybody else? Start blasting some of these guys. Oh, we got to reload. Okay. So the top number on the left is actually the active ammo. Oh, it's shooting eight. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, it gets the job done. Let's check some of these guys out. That's the first thing you should do after every combat situation, is check all the guys out. At least here at the- my god. <laughs> Never mind. Not even gonna walk down that road. I probably could've lit that fire and made my life easier, huh? Ah well, let's get inside and we will take ourselves a nap nap a rooney The door is not closed. Ah, there we go. Now we can take a nap a rooney And Shazawi. I'm interested to see what happens to my other statistics now that we're out of there. Oh, well, everything stayed full. Never mind then. Ah, that only stacks up to 500, so we've got other things to worry about too. Got water bottles. Let me take some of these arrows, and I'm actually going to make some of the feathery ones. So we've got the classic arrows with feathers. I really don't think we need to be carrying around this much stuff. Then again, we can live with it for now. We're not actually like actively picking up loads of stuff right this second, so maybe kind of hold back on it, I guess. So we took a nap. It's now daytime. That is going to help us stay. I mean, it doesn't seem to have helped our stamina at all. We still run just horrifically. Perfect. Ha! You look younger. The miracle of sleep. Fascinating. Okay, so there's another mission down. And we've leveled up. Let's jump into our our UI right here. And what do we want to... We have a better chance to do a headshot, or we can go down to incendiary arrows. We can do fast reloading. I think I'm going to go with hunger killer for the moment. I don't actually know if we're going to be able to max out this entire tree. I have no clue how this is going to work, so I'm a little blind here. The incendiary ammos do seem pretty badass, and then the crossbows do seem cool too. I'm gonna go with the fast hand. We'll do the reloading really quickly. And once we have reloading all out of the way... Reload my gun really quickly. There it is. Your training is complete. For now. But I need my shotgun back. Sorry, but this stuff is mine. Not yours. You must find your home. In exchange, I'll give you a special gift. Thank you. As promised, here is your special gift. The first piece of your first handmade gun. Feel free to search around my dumpsters for the parts you'll need to complete your gun. You will find the blueprint of the gun and a compressor close to my trailer, parked at the hilltop of the camp. 
It's up to you how you customize it, though. Cool. Well, we got a harpoon grip at least. I thought he was gonna take everything from us, so... It wasn't as bad as it could have been. Now I get to spend the next, like, ten minutes scrounging everywhere for bits and bobs, though. What is this? A rusty machete. We don't need that. Empty bottle. I definitely think we could use some empty bottles. I am a water hound when it comes to, like, hiking and being out in the wilderness. You gotta have tons of water, because you never know what's gonna happen. I personally don't go anywhere with it without, without at least a couple gallons. Let's see. Another wooden stick. Is that still gonna stack? How long can I stack sticks? Okay, we can stack sticks continually. I don't know how long we're gonna be able to stack sticks, but... It can be done! Which is the bare minimum you can ask for in some cases. Have a look around the beach. I don't see anything laying around. Those bushes I thought were the ones that give us fruit, but I guess not. No fruit is forthcoming. Suppose... Looks like there's monkeys or something? What in the hell? Hold on. Why are there monkeys flagged on my map? I need to find this out right now. There's no reason that I shouldn't be doing something with monkeys involved. What in the hell? It's like a monkey with a vault suit on. Hook are still hungry! Special white plant for Coco. So I guess he's like a challenge maybe or something? I couldn't honestly tell you. I think we have a ton of white plant though. Let's see here. White weed, where are you? There it is. So yeah, I think it's this thing I have right here in my bottom left corner of my inventory. I think there's a campfire around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Let's light that bugger and we'll see if we can cook this thing. Okay, so, oh no, our inventory's full, hold on. We cooked the white plant, but we haven't made it enough space for it. I don't know what to drop off just yet. We have a broken part of a pitchfork, and that seems like it could be really, really cool later on. Maybe drop some of the ammunition for the gun, since I don't have one anyways. Drop the bottle. Everything else seems like it has, like, a really, really good use, though. eat the fruit so that it's not in my inventory anymore. We'll grab the white special plant and swing it back over here. I don't know why it's called a special plant, but we don't call the special plant special to its face. It gets very, very down about it. Good white plant, smelling good. Coco give big reward for survivor. Mushrooms for survivor. Mushrooms very precious. Mushrooms at least keep survivor strong. Okay, so we got ourselves some mushrooms. I don't know what use those have as of yet. Let's look in our inventory and see if maybe it'll find out. Small but smelly brown mushrooms. Not that great to eat, but could possibly be mixed with another plant? Well, we don't have the combine option, so I guess that's not even on the table right now for dinner. And of course, the pun is always intended when you're with the nerd castle. I guess we'll go check out the other monkey? I don't know what the other monkey wants, but we'll go see what he wants. While keeping an eye on all these dumpsters. Ah, manual compressor. We'll take that. Although that means we're going to be pumping if it's a manual compressor. Although I suppose the other gun could have used a manual compressor too. I thought it used a dive tank though. Ammo. No, we'll grab that in a minute. Once we actually think we need it. Really? Nothing in that shed? How disappointing. Did I miss any dumpsters back here? Dumpster? Give me your treasure. Your dumpster treasure. What about up here? Did I miss any dumpsters up here? No, I don't see anything. There's one of the tanks right there for making Molotovs. Might be interesting to play around with one of those. Let me get my bow out here. And down he goes. Grab some more feathers. Get our arrow back. And then I think what I'm gonna do is we'll actually swap out our arsenal. At this point, I can actually drop all the classic arrows. Well, no, I can't. Hold on. I've got to turn those into normal ones. So let's combine those with feathers. There it is. So now we've got 20 feathered arrows. I'm going to get rid of all the normal classic ones. Smack that door down. Take another empty bottle. And so we have a bottle full of gasoline. Now I am going to play with a Molotov very shortly and just kind of see what happens. 
Handmade. Nah, we'll leave that there for now. A short tube. That'll be nice. Somebody's luggage. Another wooden stick. A bit more ammunition. There's a lot of ammunition laying around, so I don't think we're ever going to be, like, hurting for ammunition right now. Another manual compressor. Exotic fruits. We don't need those just yet. So what else did I... Oh, I needed... Wait, what? Hold on. I think I have everything that I need. Let's combine that with the pistol grip. And then we'll combine the tube with the pistol grip. And then we'll combine that with the hardware. And handmade manual scrap metal propeller gun. Low fire rate, low damage, and medium range. I don't know if I should keep carrying around the manual compressor, so I'm just going to drop it for now. I'm sure we'll probably need it for something else later on. Wait, there's more hardware in there? When did I leave that? Okay, so we've got the ammunition. Let me check out this gun and see what it does. I think it's just like a zip gun. Yeah. Well, that still fires pretty quickly. That's nothing to, like, scoff about. It still fires with a reasonable rate. I mean, it's our first pistol, so I'll take it. Let's go down and see what Monkey Man wants down here. I'm also going to pick up some of this ammunition because we could use it. Is that going to, like, overstock my inventory? I only want, like, the 500 bullets on the dot. Pulls 50 rounds, so that's cool, too. Let's test this thing out on some of our undead friends. Cool. We get 15 XP for it, so that's a little bit better. I may try to do the large majority of my shots now. I'm oh, sorry, not the large majority of my shots, but the large majority of my kills using the zip gun from now on. It seems like they're going to give me like a huge fistful of ammunition, so why wouldn't you? Since our thirst, well, nothing's looking too terrible. Kind of get used to the aiming here. More ammunition. We don't really need it right now. Definitely don't need a, a soldier's gun. Some of them are runners and some of them are walkers. The runners are the ones that are going to be putting some real pressure on us. Until we get like some really, really nice firearms. Now, I'm not really seeing the reason why we would use the bow over our zip gun. I don't think it breaks or anything or has durability, but... Then again, I am woefully unprepared to talk about any of the specificities of this game. <laughs> Coco looking for yellow fruits. <laughs> Love yellow fruits. <laughs> give Coco three yellow fruits. <laughs> Do this, and Coco give you big gift. <laughs> so is this like the same Coco, or is the oh I ate all my fruit too, like a dunce. Why did I do that? Oh no, I hate myself right now. I'm seriously not very happy with me. Just Splattercat being at odds with Splattercat himself. I am very, very much just like, damn it, right now. Although there was some fruit right there. That's what you get, Tapir. You don't even want to know, Tapir. Fresh meat and an animal skin. Nice. Are these bushes back up and ready to go? The bushes are not restocked. The bushes are barren. Nothing worse than a barren bush. I guess I'll get a drink while I'm here. Probably cook this meat too. Okay, so we've got cooked meat now. How's our hunger looking? I'm gonna eat the cooked meat just to see how much it gives us. Cooked meat, where did you go? It said I picked you up, cooked meat. Where are you? Or did I eat you already? What is going on here? Oh, there it is. Okay. I guess you have to eat it from here. Oh, hunger plus 100%. That's really, really nice. So I'm going to hold on to that. Not even going to... I'm not even going to mess around with using it right now. Reload the gun really quickly. Oh, I almost shot Coco. Coco almost caught a round. He almost got clacked. It was closed. Fruit? That's a healing plant. I'll take that. It's not a fruit and it's not what we're looking for, but it's something. Cassava root. Hey, exotic fruits, but we're full up. Damn. Hell and damnation. 
I guess I could turn this into a Molotov, maybe? Let's see if we can, can we throw, how do we throw the Molotov here? Do I have to equip it? Oh, it goes right there, okay. And it just goes out and causes like 2D fire. Okay, badass. Now we know. Which puts us at least roughly on the same level as G.I. Joe. Or at least G.I. Joe likes to pretend that he knows. I'm not really so sure he knows what he's talking. Ooh, a piece of fabric. It's almost like a piece of candy, but it's a piece of fabric. Healing plant. I'm starting to see some of the things. Like before, in the previous episode, I could never tell what I was actually like looking at. Now I can actually kind of see the little items as they lay around. Helps out a little bit with trying to scout these things out. I think we're done with Kovac now. Let's go talk to him. And maybe that's where I'll stop the episode because unfortunately, like I always have to stop the episode after a quest and I can never guarantee how long it's going to be. So we're going to end up in the same situation as Shadowrun, alas. Once you're armed, you should return back to your friend. Or you can stay here and explore my island if you want. The offer is always there. You may meet some of my loyal friends, the monkeys. They are often found around here. Be good to them, they will be good to you. Hey, it's up to you. No pressure. Please, don't hesitate to come back to see me. I like helping you. Good luck, survivor. Uh-huh. Everybody's always like, oh, I'm just helping. I'm just helping you carry water. I'm just helping you find food. I just want to put a finger in you. Is that too much to ask? Things always come around. Then again, maybe I'm just not like a trusting human being. There's, there's like a bush over here we can annihilate. Let's go ahead and destroy this. And maybe there'll be something useful in there for us. What is it? Herbarium updated. It's the herbarium. Well, I don't see anything that's jumping out at me as... an herbarium, but maybe it's around somewhere else. I think I'm gonna cut the LP off right here. Well, if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna run around and look for fruits, and I'll continue recording and chatting. But just be aware that if you're looking for me to do something else at this point, the rest of the episode's gonna be spent looking for the monkey's fruit. So, if you take that into account, you'll probably be perfectly fine and you won't be bored over the next few minutes. Fruit? Why won't you just let me have fruit, you evil, evil island? This island is making me upset. Ammunition, nothing in there. I'm seeing a whole lot of fruit. There, there's one. There it is. Exotic fruits. I got ahead of myself right there. Got too excited. I was like, I need to shoot now. I need to squeeze this thing. Let's light this candle. I do like how their heads explode in like nice of lovely little chunkies. I don't know. I think that might be mildly sadistic of me, but it still brings the experience together. Who wants to shoot a zombie if their head's not going to explode? Where is the point in that? Oh, God. Back up, zombie. I was trying to see if I could close the gap with him to kill him before he actually recovered. Inventory's full. I don't think we're going to need another bone anyways for right now. I would love to find this last little bit of fruit so that we're not wandering around in circles doing weird stuff. Let's see. It regrows too, so unfortunately... Healing plant, I will take you. Well, thus far, I ate the fruit we needed for the quest. Isn't that how things always seem to go here at the Nerd Castle? If it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Reload the pistola really quickly. I'll head back over. Actually, maybe there's something up on this ramp. Maybe there'll be one of those fruit trees up here. With any luck. Nothing. God. And I really don't feel like we can take the cassava roots just in case we need them later. In fact, we can eat a couple right now 
just to clear things up. So where are those cassava roots at? There they are. Fiber. Mmm, yummy. Consistency. That's always important in life. If you can't poop consistently, what can you live for? I mean, honestly, spending all day waiting on it to happen. That's what the roots are for. They make sure that you can get on with your day. Make sure the morning meeting comes at an appropriate time. That's the wooden stick that I abandoned before. Yep, yeah, definitely thinking I should probably break the episode off here. So, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for another episode of 505's How to Survive. It is a very unique little game, and it's one that I think you'll have a lot of fun with. If you're into zombies or crafting games, just games with tons of crafting, this would be the game for you. So, I'll see you guys next time. Take care out there, everybody, and goodbye!